Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use dynamic placement with zones inside the Cadence PCB Editor tools. So we've obviously drawn some zones um, to spin up our, our board into the different sections. So we're obviously using the cross section here. We've got a primary, primary area, a flexi area, and a rigid flexi area. So they've obviously got different top and bottom or, or top side, bottom side layers based on the area that we're going to place in. So because I have the zone area set up, so obviously I've got a connector zone here, a flexi zone here, and then this is the primary PCB. If I go to the place components manually, for example, I've got a couple of parts. So we'll start off with the switch. Now if I wanted to place the switch in the default part of the PCB, this is the primary section. I've got the top of the board and the bottom of the board. So there's my top side, it's gonna place it on the top of the board. If I mirror this, it's gonna place it on the bottom side of the PCB. So we can use that function to come and place the parts that we need. Um, with the connector though, if I want to go and let's go and place the connector, obviously in this area you can see it's still showing us top and bottom. But if I was to say, um, let's just put this down onto the connector zone, we'll place it on the top side of the connector zone. What it does is it actually places it onto the, what the top side of the connector zone is, which is effectively layer um, visibility wise. It's going to be the ground layer because that's effectively the top side of my rigid section because I'm just using these four layers. If we take this connector and let's just move it. And what we'll do is we'll mirror this, it then flips onto effectively the power layer, which is the rigid section of this, of this, or the, the bottom section of this rigid board. If we then, let's move it again, just to show you an example. So we'll go into the flexi section now. What I'll do is I'll just rotate this. So the bottom side of the flexi would be in a, in a two. So obviously from a color point of view, you, you can see we're going into inner two. We'll move it again and we'll mirror it. So the top section of that would be in a one. So it's actually creating and placing the components directly on the areas that we need to. It's, a, it's classed as dynamic placement. So when I move the part round, let's go and place it. Actually, I need this on the connector. So we'll mirror it, we'll rotate it round and we'll place it in the connector zone. It's now gonna place it onto the correct layer that we need.